Uh, when I was young, um, my father took the whole family on a uh, boat trip on the eastern United States, um, New York and Boston and the little villages in you know Virginia. I remember some of, uh, and it was a it was a sailboat. It was very quiet. There was no engine vibration. Um, it was very peaceful. Uh, and I was young and I was with my family and I enjoyed that. Um, and then uh, I moved to Japan and lived on an Air Force base. And my father was a flight surgeon. So um, I got used to being around airplanes all the time, taking off and landing. And I thought airplanes were very cool. Um, so I wanted to fly airplanes, or I wanted to fly myself. And so um, I tried powered planes. Um, they, back then they were all gas powered, no electric uh, airplanes. And they, um, and, but I didn't like it. It was noisy, it was smelly. <laughs> the, the gas motors throw oil everywhere. Um, and so then I tried gliding. And gliding was better. Uh, it was more peaceful. I did gliding for, maybe a year or two years. Um, but then I started being interested in airships. Mm. Um, and the, uh, when, when my mother saw that I was interested in airships, um, for my birthday, she went to a Japanese gas seller and purchased a small helium tank um, and gave that to me. So. And then with the, with the small helium tank, I made a, uh, um, a airship out of aluminum foil. Um, but the way I made it is I just took the aluminum strips and I bent them together. Uh, and when you bend aluminum foil, it puts tiny cracks all over. So the, the gas escaped through the cracks and it only flew for a few seconds. Um, but it did fly, and then I started making larger blimps. I got older, I had more resources. <laughs> um, I made a, a blimp out of balsa wood. It was a rigid blimp out of balsa wood and tissue paper what, for the outside, the, the hull, and then the inside was trash bags of, filled with helium. <laughs> and I flew that around um, just indoors. Um, and yeah, and then I made bigger blimps, um, blimps with bigger motors, um, but then helium got very expensive. And uh, in one instance, I filled a, a, I think it was about eight meters, an eight meter blimp with helium. And I remember it took three tanks of helium and it cost $150, or uh, I suppose what, 130 euros, eh, yeah. Uh, and uh, um, and then and the blimp had a leak, which I did not know. And by the next day, all of that helium was gone. And I had and I said I will never make another big blimp. I will only make small blimps. So yes, that is why this is so small. You can see this in the picture. <laughs> I think it's the smallest blimp here. Pretty sure. Yes. Yeah. Although it's not and the most, ah, <laughs> one of the most inventive because of the two engines to the front and back. In one, I think one of the most inventive because it's the engines are in the middle, like, mm, okay, yeah. like the right, yeah. Nice. yeah. And I'm, I started making it with the engines on the nose and tail um, after trying other things and it didn't work. And I, but now that I've made two blimps like this, well, three, I guess. I really like it. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to try a few more with the with the two motors like this.